kids, it's me again, Time Traveling Thomas. And it's me, Carl! Woo! Yay! Ah, oh, it's so good to be back with you guys again. That was, that was so much fun, Carl, last week, right? Getting to see the animals of the sky and the animals of the sea below. It was, it was, it was a trip. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. Well, today, guess where we're going? Where? We're going to day six. Yes! Yeah, and do you know what happens on day six? What? About to find out. All right. All right, kids. Are you ready to take our time machine and go back to the beginning of everything on day six of creation? Yes, let's go. Sweet, let's do it. All let's right. Do it. You know what to do. Let's get this time machine ready. <laughs> Let's get this thing going. Fire All right, right I think up. we're ready. You ready? Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, we're back. Wow. So Carl, and God said, let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds. The livestock, the creatures that move along the ground and the wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to its kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Good. It was so good. It was so good. So good. God's always like, I'm making stuff. And the stuff I make, it's good. good. <laughs> yep. We have a good God, Carl. He's so good. He's so good. So good. So good. So good, Bill. Wow. Look at all these creatures, Thomas. They're so amazing. They sure are, Carl. Hey, kids, what are your favorite creatures? On the count of three, I want you to shout out your favorite creature. Are you ready? All right. One. One. Two, three! Wow! Ooh. That was way too loud, man. You guys are so loud. So loud. Oh, and it's amazing. As amazing as all the creatures are. But God saved his special handiwork for last. What's he gonna do? Well, and in Genesis 1.26, it says, Then God said, let us now make humans in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over everything we have created. What does that mean, make humans in our image? What did God mean by that? Well, you know, there are lions, tigers, bears. Lions, tigers, bears, oh my! <laughs> but God wanted sons and daughters. Wow. And so in Genesis 1:27 it says, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. You mean humans were created to look like God? Yup, that's right. That's right, Carl. Carl, a lot of people believe humans are no different than any other animal. In fact, there are even school teachers that teach humans are just basically monkeys that evolved. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> school teachers, why would they teach something so silly? <laughs> Carl, many good people don't believe in God and, and they never read the book of Genesis. They simply don't know our origin story, our beginning. Our job is to love them and pray for them. And if God gives us the opportunity to share this incredible story. You mean we're supposed to love people that believe that we're just monkeys? Yeah, Carl, we are. On the sixth day, God created the land creatures and humans, sons and daughters, created in the image and likeness of God. On the sixth day, God created land creatures and humans sons and daughters in his image and likeness. Yeah, it's wow. so amazing. It's mind-blowing, really. It is. We have such a good God. mind blown. <laughs> yep. I agree, Carl. Yep. All right, kids, let's go back to uh, Mr. Moses for a blessing. 
Yay, Mr. Moses, Woo! back to you, big guy. It's good to see you guys again. See you next week. Goodbye. Now I want to bless you, so hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom.